VIP. Let's kick it. In this cold environment, many different creatures work and play. Okay, that's like too cold. Isn't he a cop? And people visit from all over the world. Found him. It's so cold, do they actually snowboard there? Here we have the Yeti enjoying a nap. Is that the snowboarder again, right through the Yeti's bedroom? Well, that's pretty rude, but anyway, the Yeti sleeps, and when he's really, dude, Epic Yeti by Anisau did not have retail packaging. He's a non-articulated resin statue made in the image of the Yeti or the abominable snowman from Himalayan folklore. He's a heavy and girthy figure with white fur, blue skin, and red eyes. He looks old, strong, and wise. Alongside Epic Yeti, tiny creatures like this one, and this one, Frolic and play in the frozen landscape. Can I even say frozen or is Disney going to shut this down? All is well until men like this. And men like this. And men like this. Invade the ice cold land to capture and review these mythical creatures. Look out, Gizmo's white lookalike. Gizmo's white lookalike is being tranquilized and captured. Now Epic Yeti is being surrounded. Look out, Epic Yeti. Epic Yeti stands 9 inches tall and weighs nearly 2 pounds. He's a follow-up to Epic Bigfoot, also by Annie Sal. I reviewed Epic Bigfoot in a previous video on my channel, so be sure to check it out. Epic Yeti has a muscular, pre-posed physique with his hands in fists, one leg slightly in front of the other, and a head with a sloped forehead looking slightly to the left. I would have preferred his head being straight. And seeing as his face is non-aggressive, I would have preferred more relaxed hands instead of fists. Overall, he appears more human than beast. He looks aware and intelligent, and looks like he might actually be able to speak. I like the blue coloring of the skin on his face, but wish the coloring was spread out over the other non-furry areas like his hands and his feet, which don't have contrasting paint from his white fur. And speaking of his feet, he has copyright 2019 Anisau etched into the side of his right foot. I like the etching, but wish it was on the bottom of his foot instead. I like the sculpt of his feet and toes, just wish his nails stood out more, but his big flat feet do allow for a stable display without a base or a stand. And speaking of big feet, I couldn't imagine reviewing Epic Yeti without comparing him to Epic Bigfoot. The two figures have similarities, but Epic Yeti has more of a human-like quality, complete with bodybuilder-style tapered V-shape physique and more muscular definition than Epic Bigfoot. Both figures stand at 9 inches tall, but Epic Bigfoot is heavier and girthier with, of course, a larger footprint. As much as I love Epic Yeti, Anisau could have painted Epic Bigfoot white and painted his eyes red and I would have been just as happy. Here's Epic Yeti next to 8-inch King Kong made by NECA. And here's Epic Yeti next to Epic Esme. She won't let me measure her height and definitely not her weight. Epic Yeti comes with a collectible card with a funny image of a Yeti or Bigfoot creature snow skiing. The other side of the card has their website and social media info and says, Welcome to the Anisau tribe. We run on coffee and good vibes and make unique figures that make you smile. The paint and detailed sculpt of Epic Yeti is fantastic, but remember, although he's frolicking along with toys in this review, he is a resin statue and not an action figure. He'll complement a Winter Wonderland display but you might not give him to a child or a clumsy adult because he might not survive a drop on a hard floor. Overall, he's a great figure for the figure collector and fans of cryptozoology, so be sure to check out Annie Sal to see their collection of cute and cool creatures. I don't know, turn off the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and watch a chump like a candle. Dance! Whoa, dude, it's Cobra c, -c, -c cold Did you just say Cobra c, -c, -c cold Yeah? That's pretty Cobra cook corny That's easy for you to say. You're wearing sleeves. <laughs>